Not many folks know that you can save customized working environments for yourself in Photoshop. This is quite useful if you either share a computer with others in your work group or if you like to view a certain set of palettes and menus for the different kinds of work that you do. Workspaces are a great concept in Photoshop. They allow you to load up a custom environment that was saved previously and you can make this easy by assigning a keyboard shortcut to the choice. For example, when I want to work with type, I type in Option F5 on my keyboard and it loads up a custom set of palettes that I use for this purpose. I could also choose it from the window menu under Workspace. Then I could switch to another set. For example, when I'm working on painting and retouching, I can type Option F6 or choose painting from this menu to bring up a different environment for this purpose. Luckily, it's really easy to set up and it can give you a big boost in productivity. You can even use workspaces to create custom menu sets. Let me show you how to set this up. Let's say you share a computer with others and what you'd like to do is to always start your work by pulling up your own set of palettes and menus. Here's how you'd go about it. First, I'll choose Reset Palette Locations from the Window Workspace menu. Then customize the setup. I'm going to move the palettes to where I want them to appear on the monitor. Then you might wish to highlight certain menu items that you use a lot so they jump out at you when you choose a menu up at the top. To do this, choose Window, Workspace, Keyboard, Shortcuts and Menus and select the Menus tab at the top. Then select the individual items that you wish to highlight in the list below. I'm going to choose an option that I like to use a lot called Print with Preview. Then color code it by making a choice in the menu right below None. The eye icon allows you to hide any menu items that you either don't use or you want to deliberately hide from the menus. For example, you might decide that you want to hide the regular print command which is the evil twin of the print with preview command because choosing it sometimes does more harm than good for your work. So go ahead and select it in this list and hide the visibility by unchecking the eye icon. I'll make one more choice here just to illustrate this. Perhaps choose something from the image menu. I'll choose image size and make sure that it's visible and also color coded red. Then all I have to do to save all of these changes as a custom environment is to choose Window, Workspace, Save Workspace. Give it a unique name. To assign a keyboard shortcut, go back to the Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus dialog. This time, choose the tab for Keyboard Shortcuts and navigate to your new setting under the Window Workspace menu. And there's the option we just saved. Choose it and assign a unique keyboard shortcut to it. I'll choose option F4 since it hasn't been used before. And now at any time you can type in the shortcut and summon up your own set of palettes and working environment in Photoshop.